Hey YouTube, this is Rock Sixty. Now I know I, was, I, if you guys seen this, if you guys like part of no, notification squad, you know you guys seen that I'm trying to do a live stream, answering questions about PlayStation VR, but I don't know. I just thought this would be easier, and at the same time, I, I want a gameplay in the background so you guys have something to watch instead of this me blabbing on forever and just staring off the steel objects. But at the same time. I felt like this should be like something talked about regardless of which way I decided to do it and I feel like I could do it in a way that you, know, you guys could imagine things or and also I can point you to channels that actually have like real gameplay of it like like direct gameplay of the patient VR experience. Um, if you guys want to see PlayStation VR experience, uh, experience gameplay, I would advise these channels: uh, Access PlayStation, The Verge, or CNET, or The Happy Gamer, or The Happy Console Gamer. I think that's his channel's name. You know, they they show gameplay video of it. I'm not able to show gameplay video. I do apologize for that. I just want to tell you my experience, and if you want to tab this and put it in the background whatever just to listen to it do that I'm perfectly fine like that uh, fine about that but um it was just me at the PlayStation VR experience there's no I didn't bring a crew with me and nothing like that I didn't have a camera set up it was just me I just wanted to go experience it I didn't have time to call up nobody or anything like that so and plus this was like a two hour drive for me this wasn't a 15 or a 5 to 15 minute drive like most YouTubers have it. Like, oh, in my local state, I just went down to the local game stuff and they just happened to have it. And that was completely untrue for me. I literally had to drive two hours up the way to even get to this experience. So my expect expectations were high. And I got there, it was still setting up. It was like 12.10 or so. The experience was good at 12 to 3. Um, the lady setting up wasn't exactly too friendly, I thought. It just kind of felt like, yeah, let's get this old whip type deal. I was like, whatever. It wasn't that many people even asking questions about the, the PlayStation VR. I just walked right past it like, oh, what the hell is this thing blocking my way? Because it was literally like in the front of the entryway of Best Buy that I went to. It's like you walk in the door, boom, right there. It just seems kind of odd. Cause I was like expecting it in the back, so that way people would have like a reason to go through the store. You know, that would make more sense. But it's just right there in front of the store, like right where the security guard and everything, the gates and everything. And then you like have like your snacks or cheap DVDs, or whatever. Boom! It's like right there. I'm like, okay. So um, there, that's that. And I literally watched the lady set up, which was kind of creepy. But I really, I was like so curious about the technology that went into the PlayStation VR. I was like watching the setup, so that just in case if I get this thing, I want to know how to set this up. She set the PlayStation 4 up like as normal. He had the PlayStation 4 controller wired in, you know, through the USB and everything. And, um, uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, the little PlayStation or processing unit, that's a real thing, you know. I think she slid back one part of it to connect the cable and hook that up back into like a, a PS4 and um, once it was all connected and everything like the she switched over to TV source and said PlayStation VR as one sources which I thought was really cool and um, it said press the PlayStation button to start and she pressed it on the controller and it looked the blue screen for some reason and then she picked up the, the headset and showed it to the camera, you know, like kind of head, like, this way, you know, forward, like, and everything, and pointing at the camera. And, you know, boom, the game, uh, the game's uh, list, like, popped up right in front of the screen. I was like, I thought that was a little jarring, but I was like, all right. Um, and she didn't ask me what game I wanted to play, or I asked her what games were available, because I saw a bunch of games you can test and the GameStop and stuff like that. And, and I was like, okay. Well, she described like E-Valkyrie, PlayStation Worlds, The Deep, or whatever, the Ocean game, the shark and everything. Uh, 
battle zone, super hyper cube. And I, I picked E Valkyrie. It was like, that was the one I came to play. I was like, E Valkyrie. So, like, oh, okay, get your set up. You know, she just snugged it on my head and everything. Just it on the back. There's like a button on the back, just the back. The button on the front to just the front, of course. Um, the top, you know, it has like, it, it just accordingly to like the front and the back. So, whatever way you just that, it kind of moves accordingly. Um, you should have a pair of headsets they put on you, like nice little Sony headsets they put on the side. Um, the only thing that's really heavy about it is just the cables that kind of hang off from it, the headset. Like, those are kind of heavy. That's the only thing you really feel as far as weight. Like, I felt that when I moved left, and which feels like the cables were hanging from it. And, um, and the game started up, you know, it took a little bit to load up. You know, it showed, like, two spinning logo, uh, loading screen type things on each eye and everything the next thing you know it it went from split to one screen to just showing the one loading screen i was like oh snap all right so i guess it like synced up right or something like that next thing you know boom you're like right into the game and um you're in your ship and everything you were able to look down at your legs and everything the controls like the character's not moving its hands or anything you're just like stationary and might like move like do like a little few like this type idle what like idle animations about it the texture work and animations of everything everything around you it seemed good but for some reason i noticed it did look pixelated i know a lot of people uh, didn't mention that it is true it does look pixelated once you look like up things up close to you like the controls and like the character's arms and stuff this stuff to the side of you looks pixelated maybe i didn't have the headset on tight enough to really immerse myself but it looks pixelated on certain objects and the resolution it didn't seem as high I could tell it was like maybe somewhere between 720 and 1080 but it didn't seem like that high for something that being like supposed to be this close like really close to you like your eyes I was expecting something really high res um, when it started up you know you press like L1 and R1 and like it starts up your ship and then boom your sh it shoots you right out of the carrier or whatever and you're supposed to like to follow some type of other character and they tell you the boost to follow me and stuff like that you press x to boost and everything and then they tell you like oh there's enemy ships are coming or whatever and then a bunch of ships come out like like i guess from hyper jump or whatever and boom the rain is right in front of you too and um uh, out of that that part just I don't know, it shocked me. I was like, whoa, okay, that's cool. I, I seen it before in video games, but it was like, it just seemed like surreal. I was like, oh my god, it's actually happening. And, you know, right when that happens, and the the enemy carrier ship comes towards you, um, uh, like the enemy ships come out and everything like that, start flying around, tuning at your partner that's with you, and like, oh, you have to help him and stuff. It's like kind of like Starbucks. Uh, but not Starbucks, but Star Fox type deal. Like you had to shoot down all the ships and everything, and you're completely free then. Like you're, I mean, you was free from the beginning, but it's like you're really everything's unlocked. You're ready to go. You're ready to do what, um, do what you're supposed to be doing. Like you're supposed to shoot down the ships and stuff. And you know, R2 uh, is to shoot your regular like machine gun bullets or whatever. Uh, L2 was missiles and everything like they show like a locked on type reticle pop up on the enemy ships and you know it fires away over your head basically it looks like it is firing away over your head and you see that like that trail the missiles fly down and hit the enemy ship and you're like oh that's so amazing but during the whole experience that resolution it just threw me off it's like some pixelation that you see to the left and right as maybe maybe the headset just wasn't on tight enough and it seemed like the volume was down low on the headsets not, not on the headset but on the um uh, uh what you call it earphones yeah maybe the the volume is down on the earphones because i can still hear that like terrible elevator type music or terrible pop music they play in best buy and stuff all the time and I wasn't fully immersed in the experience at all because of that. Because it was like kind of threw me out of the experience. I was like, okay, I could still hear everything else around me. So I can hear hear the lady talking to me. 
press this, press that. I'm like, I know what I'm, like, I'm thinking in my head, I know what I'm doing. You don't need to instruct me how to play a video game. I know what I'm doing. This is fun. Let me enjoy this. And uh, at one point, during, it was like halfway through the demo, like it was getting close to the end, you know, uh, another enemy carrier came out of nowhere. It was like fired off a big laser or something like that. And I think it damaged my ship. But like before that happened, the, um, the game went completely black. I don't know what was with that. She said that was a part, that was, meaning it was the end of the demo, but I saw the end of the demo when it said, like, see you later or whatever, see you next time, whatever. It was at the end of the uh, demo that the lady said in the game. Um, but literally, it went to black at one point, and I kind of freaked out for a minute because it was like I, like I literally wasn't immersed anymore. I was just like jumped out of the experience. So like, whoa, what was that? And it felt like at certain points, like, the framework wasn't consistent enough for me. Like, it wasn't, like, it jumped at certain points. And certain big things happened, like, certain explosions went off or something like it. And this wasn't as consistent as I thought it would be. And the whole black screen experience, it seemed like the, the headset disconnected or something at one point. And the lady just kept reassuring me, oh, it's just a tech demo, it would do that. I'm like, that might be an issue they might want to... Um, deal with because like that just threw me out of the experience with that and um, that was my PlayStation VR experience and it, it was exciting I was sad that it was over so quickly and I couldn't try another demo the lady was like one demo per person and there was literally like no one around it was like one o'clock by then and it was like basically two hours left in the whole VR experience timing or whatever there was literally no one around basically like the the best buy employees were just wandering around just bored out of their minds and stuff and like there's nobody else around there's no one there's no lot there was no lines when I was there there's like nobody there I just don't get why I couldn't try another one real quick but I get it, you know, I could have been there all day. Oh, let me try another one. Oh, let me try another one. Let me try this a little bit longer. Da, 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 da. I couldn't have been doing that. And I see why the lady's like, thank you for your time. Da, da, da. And I was like, okay. And walked on the Best Buy and drove two hours back home. Thinking like, oh, that was exciting. But now it's over type deal. So um, that was my PlayStation VR experience. Um, if this helps you decide where you want to keep your pre-order or not, put it in the comment section below if this helps or anything. If you like this video, like it, share it, you know, the usual. But anyway, peace.